The 34th G8 Summit will be held from July 7 to 9 in Toyaku, Hokkaido. Japan is the chair of this meeting, which brings the leaders of the eight countries and the president of the European Commission together to discuss various issues which the international community faces. Coverage of the summit will be broadcast around the world from the International Media Center in Lusutsu. This is the fifth summit to be held in Japan. To prepare the ground for the leaders' meeting, G8 ministers of foreign affairs, finance and other fields have met at various locations all over Japan since March. At the Davos meeting in January 2008, Prime Minister Fukuda presented four main themes for the Hokkaido Toyako Summit and pledged that Japan would play an active role in addressing these themes. The four themes are the environment and climate change, development and Africa, the world economy, and political issues. Let's take a look at these themes. At last year's Heiligendam Summit, Japan explained its Cool Earth 50 proposal on climate change and called for cutting global greenhouse gas emissions by half from the current level by 2050 and setting out three principles for building an international framework beyond 2012 after the first commitment period, the Kyoto Protocol, post-2012. At the Davos meeting in January, Prime Minister Fukuda announced the Cool Earth Promotion Program. The Cool Earth Promotion Program has three pillars, post-Kyoto framework, international environment cooperation, and innovation. Japan aims to build a post-Kyoto framework in which all major emitters participate to ensure the fairness and equity of greenhouse gas emissions reduction targets and, along with other major emitters, to set a quantified national target for reducing emissions. As for the second pillar, international environment cooperation, Japan has proposed to transfer high-quality environmental technology to a greater number of countries and to set a global target of 30% improvement in energy efficiency by 2020. For example, if the level of efficiency in Japan's coal-fired power plants were achieved in the United States, China, and India, it would reduce CO2 emissions by some 1.3 billion tons, equivalent to Japan's total annual emissions. Japan has also proposed the Cool Earth Partnership, a new financial mechanism on the scale of $10 billion to assist developing countries. The third pillar is innovation, meaning the development of innovative technologies and the shift to a low-carbon society. Japan will accelerate the development of technologies to achieve zero CO2 emission coal-fired power plants, low-cost high-efficiency solar power generation technology, and green IT. In addressing development in Africa, the summit will focus on health, water, and education. The G8 will work to combat infectious diseases like HIV-AIDS, tuberculosis, and malaria, improve maternal, newborn, and child health, and develop human resources in the health field. Safe water is essential to human health, and without access to water, there can be no development. Water-related disasters, meanwhile, are a serious threat. Japan will lead international cooperation for the effective management of water, a cyclical resource. For all people and all nations, education is the basis for self-reliance and development. Japan is making holistic efforts to expand high-quality basic education and to provide vocational training as well as secondary and higher education. Developing countries' self-reliance and economic growth are essential to sustainable development. Based on the results of TCAD4 held in Yokohama in May, the G8 leaders will discuss cooperation for Africa's growth, including in infrastructure development, trade and investment promotion, and agriculture. The leaders will also talk about rising food prices. Talks on the third theme, the world economy, 
will focus on efforts to address problems that are increasing global economic risks, such as rising oil prices and financial market volatility. Issues such as trade, protection of intellectual property rights, and natural resources will be discussed. On the fourth theme, political issues, bearing in mind the North Korean and Iranian nuclear issues, Japan will aim to send a strong message on strengthening the non-proliferation regime, which is critical to Japan's security. In view of the situations in Afghanistan, Iraq, and Sudan, among others, Japan will lead international discussions on peace building in its role as a peace-fostering nation, as outlined by Prime Minister Fukuda in his January policy speech. None of these challenges can be met by any single country. Japan, as the chair of the Hokkaido Toyako Summit, will do its utmost to exercise maximum leadership toward the resolution of global issues.